Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next section in this chapter, we're going to talk about function notation. And function notation, you'll see something like this come up a lot, f of x. So the best way to explain this is just to show an example. So this is a regular parabola that you know from the previous uh, grade, y equals x squared. Well, we know x squared is a function, as we mentioned in the previous section. So another way to write this is instead of writing y, we just write a function of x. Right? So this f of x here is just another way to write the y variable, the dependent variable for a function. So for example, if uh, I wanted to know the value of the function at an x value of 2, I would plug in 2 for x into the actual expression and get 4. So we know that 2 and 4 is a coordinate on this function, right? Both of these are the same thing. Or if I wanted to know the value of the function or the value of y at an x value of 3, that would be 3 squared, which would give us 9. So this would be 3 and 9. Right, so it's just another way to write the y value. So let's see how we could apply function notation to a simple word problem. So let's say a car travels at 100 kilometers per hour. We have to give a distance function in terms of time. So distance in terms of time. So we know the distance is the dependent variable and it's gonna be in terms of time, which is the independent. So it's like the y value is going to be distance, and then the x value, the independent variable, is gonna be time. So if distance is the dependent, time is the independent, we can write this as the value of the distance as a function of time or in terms of time. So that's how we can represent that uh, distance function. So instead of just writing d is equal to something, we're going to write d in terms of t is equal to something. So this is just notation. And what is distance equal to? We know distance in general is equal to speed times time. And we know the speed. It's 100 kilometers per hour. We don't know the time. That's the variable. So the function is 100 t. Right? So the distance in terms of time is equal to 100 t. So if we wanted to know the distance after the car has traveled three hours, we plug in three for t. 100 times three gives us 300 kilometers. Right? Another way to write this is just distance is equal to 100 t. Right? So maybe in grade 10, the previous grade, you would have seen it like this. Now in grade 11, you're probably going to see stuff like this, but they both mean the same thing. Don't get confused about this notation. It's just another way to write the dependent variable.